Hello everyone, it's Miss Monk here and today I'm going to be showing you how to produce a Zentangle insect in the style of Rosalind Monks. So you'll see here I've got myself an internet image of an insect and I have sketched out the insect as accurately as I possibly can onto a sheet of paper just focusing on the outline. What you'll then want to do is split your insect into sections. Now, a lot of you already will have picked images of insects which are already split up into sections, and that's fantastic. But if you look, uh, if you find that your insect maybe has a big space which hasn't been split up into sections, it's your job to split it up. So you can see here on my insect, I've got this big space which is the body and what I have done on my sketches I've just split that big area into three sections you'll notice that the lines I've used to split it up are curved instead of straight using curved lines helps us create the impression of the curved body of the insect okay so it's really important that any lines that you do put in to your work to section it up that they do follow the shape of the insect what you're then going to do is go around your pencil marks with either a biro or a fine liner. It's up to you which one you use. If you've got a fine liner, then I probably recommend you use the fine liner. So I'm going to go around. If you're, you're finding your pen's too thin, you might decide to go over the same area a couple of times. OK, and once you've done that, what you will then do is rub out any visible pencil marks. OK, and in true Blue Peter fashion, you can see here is one I made earlier. So I've rubbed out all my pencil marks. So I've got a clear, crisp line now and I've drawn a line down the centre and that's going to help me create my patterns. OK, and it's going to help me make them symmetrical. Now, if you're already really confident, you don't need that line there, but it's just there to help with symmetry. What you'll then need is some Zentangle patterns in front of you. You will find them on my PowerPoint, which can be found on Firefly or saved onto um, the Teams file. OK, you can have the, pa uh, the patterns on your screen or if you're lucky enough to have a printer, print them out. OK, um, you can find further patterns on the Internet if you don't like the ones that I have provided. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to pick maybe four or five different patterns and I'm going to copy them across onto the different sections of my inter insect. Now you can see I've already started doing this here and I have um, tried to make it symmetrical as I go along. Okay, so you do want to try and make your work symmetrical to link it with Rosalind Monks because you'll notice her work often shows a lot of symmetry. Okay, so I've started doing these semicircle shapes. I'm sort of inspired by these shapes at uh, these patterns here okay and you can see i'm doing them at the same time on each side try and work into your patterns with detail too okay the more detailed the better you can see some really good examples of zentangle insects on the powerpoint and also look at rosalind monk's work look at what she does to produce her work again you can combine different patterns together okay so i might decide to draw in some lines coming out of my semicircles again doing it on the other side as well okay uh, and then if you decide you want to draw the patterns out in pencil first and go over and pen that's fine just make sure you rub out any visible pencil marks afterwards all right we look forward to seeing the results enjoy